whiskey drinking man. I drink every day. Welcome back. We're the Whiskey Watchers. I'm Dan. I'm Jake. And my glass is empty. Hold on one second. Anyway, we're the Whiskey Watchers, and, uh, you know, today, <sighs> we're talking value. And we're thirsty. Here you go. No, God, don't mix. What are you, nuts? <laughs> I'm trying. I'm not trying for a gersling and whiskey. <laughs> All right, today we're talking value. Uh, we've get, gotten a lot of uh, chatter and a lot of questions asking us for some of our favorite budget pours. So today, Jake and I put together a little list of five bottles each that we enjoy on the regular. And uh, there are a few caveats to this list, though. Jake, all these bottles had to be under what? 50 bucks. 50 bucks or less budget pours. Um, all of them had to be readily available in our area. Little caveat here, another one. All these bottles that we can get a hold of you might not be able to get a hold of where you're at, and we're sorry. You might also not be able to find them under 50 bucks in your area. Yeah. Prices do vary by regionality. So, um, I'm there was one more quick... rule, too. Oh, and I'll oh. say that no private picks, mm. no barrel picks at all. No private barrels. Everyone has to be able to get a hold of these. Yep. So, Jake, you want to start with your list? My list. So well, I uh, just try and like jump around in this. No, just, just go down your list, man. So, so, no particular order on these whatsoever. These are just. Five of our favorite, well, Jake's favorite, yeah. everyday pours. So we're going to go with one first that probably no one knows about. Barker's Mill. This is from, oh my God, I've totally forgotten. M.B. So, Roland. Thank you. M.B. Roland Distillery. It is their first bottled and bond whiskey available. Yeah, there you go. That is the first time they've ever done it. <laughs> it's almost six years old, and it's really It's so good. good. Um, when we were there with the Broken Cork, we did a uh, did an episode with them, their master distiller, and uh, Mudcat. If you don't know their who Mudcat is, go like uh, go find out who Mudcat is. You're going to love him. Uh, and they let us sample this, and um, we were blown away. This Our, was before it had a label. Yeah, before it even had a label. Uh, Michael, who does not like weeded bourbons, um, he was surprised to learn that uh, this has weed in it. Yeah. And he enjoyed it, so... And I really love the label. Like, yeah. it went full color with it. Mm -hmm. I love that. Normally, their labels are really just kind of like... Here's a color. Here's, here's a, color, a color. Here's another color. Here's a gradient. And that's all it is. But this, they went all out with this. No and doubt. They had the whiskey in there is really good. You want to throw one of yours out now? No, go ahead. Go down your list. Okay. We're just going down the lists. Going down the old list. This one is not a bourbon, but a whiskey. It's, it's Sour it's Mash. Mictor's Sour Mash. Mictor's Sour Mash. It's about 45... And it's just, it's one of those things, you know, if you've had it once and you like it, you like it. Mm -hmm. You don't, you don't. It's some good low-proof whiskey there. And it's not too sweet. But it is sweet, though. It has a sweetness to it. When I think of sweet, you know what first comes straight to my mind? Mm. Anything Old Forester. Now you're speaking my language. It, it, it's cherry and all that. And I don't even have an Old Forester on here. Because what? I like my Old Foresters, like the high-proof ones, and those are not those cheap. Those are not $50. Next up is what's in my cup, and that is Old Tub. It's weirdly cheap, and it's unfiltered, and it's delicious. Little, little Old Tub from Beam. Get that. Get the Beam funk in there. Yeah. I mean, for what, 30 bucks now because they raised yep. the price? It's not bad. I, I think like in it. our area we can get it for like 28 27 99 something like that out the door. It might be more at some places we go, but it's under 50 bucks, and it's incredibly good for its price point. Yeah, that's actually kind of sweet and a little bit of oaky. I like the oak comes through just at the end. Delicious. And my very last one is another one that you can only find under 50 bucks in a pint. In a pint. Caveat, in a pint. Yes. And it is Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof. They release them all the time. You can find them. No, you can't. <laughs> the 750s are very hard to find around our area, but the pints are everywhere. So, yeah, that's the thing. Around here, pints are everywhere, and they're like 38 bucks around here. Mm -hmm. I'll buy them all day because yep. Jack Daniels Barrel Proof is the best Jack Daniels. Let's be real. Yeah, well, Coy Hill, but we don't have a Coy Hill. 
Or well, we and also I've kind of, I started at eighty proof, eighty nine proof, eighty eight proof, and I've slowly worked little, up to our Jake is growing up. I'm so proud to one hundred and thirty proof. I'm yeah. so proud of him. One hundred and thirty point six on this one. I bet you this is. Even I bet it is. But that's that's my list. That's your list. Quick little one. Quick little little five bottles. Well, I guess I'll get to my list. But first, wait, we want to. I'm sorry. Oh wait, what four? I think I. Oh, oh you forgot one. Buffalo, Buffalo Trace. How did I? Well, I know how I almost forgot it. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It used to yeah. be everywhere. It used to be everywhere. Well, Not it's, so much anymore. It's pretty well everywhere in our area. I mean, I got this one from Walmart. Um, $24.99 out the door. I haven't Walmart. seen it at Walmart in over two years. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. But I'll walk into random liquor stores and I'll see it just sitting randomly mm-hmm. on shelves. I'm like, oh, I might as well. If I'm grabbing one, I'm yeah. going to grab it. Now, it's granted, usually... a lot of times around here, our stores will have a little bit of a limit to them. Mm, like two. one or two. Two. But they're never jacked up. They're, the prices aren't jacked up anywhere. You can... Even every now and then you find the big ones and those are one per. The, yeah, the big ones. Hey. <laughs> Some big boys. Got the, got the big one over there. I have one too and I'm glad I bought it. Because, you know, I had four, and I finished one, so now I have three and a big boy. So it's like five. And then I found out I had like five or four Eagle Rares, too, and I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. So I but started you can, drinking them. But, yeah, the thing is, I mean, once you once you come to find everything or you're able to find things, you can drink things like Eagle Rare on the daily. That's right. So that's your list? That's my list. That's I almost list. forgot one. It was a four list, and then it turned into a five. So before I get to my list, I want to take a, take this time to thank our sponsor, The Thief, Fine Wine, Beer, and Spirits out of Walla Walla, Washington. that huge pour that he's drinking. For that giant pour and the, uh, well, a little spill I had. It but adds character. adds character to the barrel head. If you're ever out in Washington State, go check them out. Um, I'm, sure, I'm sure they'd love to have you, honestly. Tell um, them we're watching you. Are we? Whiskey watching you. Whiskey watching you? Yeah. I always feel like I can't sing more of this song. Anyway, <laughs> anyway tell them the Whiskey Watcher sent you. They'll, yeah. they'll give you a crisp handshake or something. High five. Yes, sir. That wasn't super crisp, but, no. you know, whatever. We're sitting right next we'll to each other. We'll fix it in it's post. Hard. We'll fix the crispiness in post. Anyway, on to my list. Uh, no particular order again. We're going to start with this bad boy. Had a little bit, bit of this before we started. Uh, everyone knows I like Old Forster and... Old Forester, the old 100 proofer. I absolutely love this thing. This is the leader. Um, I think there may have been a uh, a price error on this one uh, because I got it for 24.99 out the door. <laughs> it's on sale. <laughs> it might have been on sale or I something. Mean, but it's not the first time I've seen it. I've walked into stores and they have a huge clearance section. It's mostly like, oh, we had a bunch of our Christmas stuff left over. So so here you go, ten bucks. Yeah. But. Now, I uh, I found this at a local store in my hometown and decided to uh, pick it up for twenty four bucks. You might as well. I've gone through so many of these; it's not even funny. Great in a cocktail, great straight up over ice. Um, it holds up to most things, and it has that brown form and funkiness that I absolutely love. So, Old Forester Hundred Proof is my first one up. Next up is an old favorite of mine, and well, everyone's really. Elijah Craig Small Batch. Um, daddy of whiskey. The the daddy. Mr. Mr. Charred Barrels himself, Elijah Craig. Um, really, really good for 94 proof. Uh, I don't mind this in a cocktail at all. Uh, I prefer to drink this one straight up, but you know what? If I'm putting it in a cocktail, I'm fine with it. Um, I like finding picks of it. Yeah, the, the picks are really good. They've released barrel strength picks now, so you can oh, get yeah. a little higher age statement on those generally 9 to 10 to 11 years. I haven't seen any 12 years because I think, well, those go for the, the annual releases. Yeah. But it is what it is. Elijah Craig, small batch, really, really good budget pour. Uh, if you have your friends over and you all just want to kill a bottle at a night, wouldn't recommend it. But, you know, if you do. Elijah Depends on how many people there are. Yeah, if you have a lot of people. Two you or more, you can do it. <laughs> two is not a lot. But it does take two to tango. You can start in the morning. Yeah, true. You, can, you can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. Yeah, that's wrong. So, this one's interchangeable. My number three is Wild Turkey 101. This one happens to be the rye, but the bourbon will interchange here as well. So, kind of 
one of those. Uh, you know how I feel about it. Yeah, I absolutely adore it. I'll take a bourbon. Yeah. Rise are a little too. They're too spicy for me. I'm all white. I don't like the mayonnaise. It's pretty good. What? Mayonnaise. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what? I didn't catch what you said, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and watch this. But yeah, these are interchangeable. Wild turkey stuff is so good. Uh, I don't I don't know really what else to say about it. It's delicious. Again, cocktail worthy, and uh, always on my shelf for its given price point. I have a Michter's on my list too, Jake. Do you? Yep. This one just so happens to be the bourbon. Michter's bourbon. Le bourbon. Le bourbon. I don't have the bourbon at the house. Oh, the bourbon is delicious. I uh, I can't say enough about it. I mean, it's bourbon. It's Michter's bourbon. How much you pay for it? $34.99. Out the door. Out the door. Out the door. $34.99. Really, really good price point for a really good bourbon, actually. Um, a lot of their, uh, I, I like a lot of their more harder to find releases. I mean, who doesn't? Let's be honest. If we have the stuff on the shelf behind me, or you know, if you have some of the harder to find stuff, you want to you want to drink those more often than you do these. But you know what? For something, for someone that's just starting a bar or starting a collection, or heck, someone who just wants to have a nice relaxing night. This one's perfect. Or any of these are perfect, really. Another drink. That's sweet tea? <sighs> nope. All right. So my last bottle is also a bean product. Old. I'm pretty stingy about following the big boy. Granddad bonded. A lot of people are going to give me flack for not putting 114 here. I think 114 is a great product. But I just enjoy the bonded a little bit more. That's just me. And, you know, old, old Basil Hayden here is just staring me in the face. That's actually Basil Hayden. Basil Hayden is old granddad. Again, we'll get to Basil Hayden in a future episode. That's better than Basil Hayden. Well, yeah. Well, if they would up the proof on Basil Hayden, I think a lot of people would like Basil Hayden a lot more. I know I would. So we'll get to Basil Hayden again in a future episode. But for now... Old Granddad's going to round out my list. Uh, really, really good budget pours. And these aren't all the options. You still have, you know, I, you know what? Can you think of some honorable mentions? Um, yeah, actually, I can. I was talking about this earlier. Yeah. Early Times Bottled and Bond. Mm-hmm. Um, WB Saffle, because that's generally right around the $50 mark. $50 for like a pint. Yeah, but that's the only, that's the only size it comes in, too. So, I mean, yeah. meh. But... Then you have things like JTS Brown. You have JW Dant. Um, honestly, a, an honorable mention for me, it almost made the list, uh, Evan Williams White Label. Evan Williams Bottle and Bond. 15 16 bucks for Bottle and Bond. Four years. I mean, under proof. Mm. Can't really get better. Well, you can, but mm. not at that mm. price point, really. <laughs> uh, if you can find it, sometimes you can. Russell's. Russell's ten year. Yeah, that's every now and then you find it. I found it at Walmart for thirty five, forty bucks. So sure, sure. just got to look. Yeah, our Walmart's finally starting to carry some more higher end stuff. They finally got Angels Envy. Yeah, in they, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look out! Look out! We got Angels Envy in there. Um, Jack Russell's ten year number seven. That's always been in there though. <laughs> But if you had to put one bottle that is above a $50 price point on this list, what one bottle would you put up there? E.H. Taylor. E.H. Taylor. Just as a budget pour, yeah. I feel like that it's not too far above $50 if you want to reach out just a little bit further. It was like $65, 70 bucks. Yeah, around here, usually $65, 70 bucks out yeah, the so door. I mean, it's, it's one of those things where if you have it, it usually comes in the nice tube. If it doesn't, somebody's probably skimped you, which is ridiculous. Yeah, but, always get the tube. Make sure the tube's there. Yeah. It's one of those things you can brag about a little bit on your shelf, and also it's pretty tasty, and it's not so hard, whereas a little bit of looking wouldn't find you one. So my budget, well, not my budget, but my honorable mention above $50, um, Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Yeah, that's Cast strength good. whiskey from Wild Turkey um, at around $55-ish. Really easy to find around here. I mean, I know most most of the United States. It's pretty hard, pretty pretty hard, 
pretty well on the shelf everywhere. They make enough of it. Lord knows. <laughs> but so that's going to do it for us for our budget lists. Come back next time. We'll probably be doing some more higher end lists and uh, maybe some that, you know, we didn't like so much from this year or maybe the previous year. Tastings. Tastings. If we we could probably talk all day about ones we didn't like, but we'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll make a list and we'll give it to you. So until next time, guys, we want to thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe really helps the channel out a lot. And uh, yeah, I'm Dan. I'm Jake. Reminding you to have, share a pour with all of your friends because much like movies, memories don't make themselves. That's right.